Hello there and welcome to this episode of Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Reiser presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers, Champagne Beverages. We come to you right here from Buddy's Bar and Grill in Hammond, our home for 2014. I'm Alan Waddell, joined as always by the head baseball coach of your Southeastern Alliance, Coach Matt Reiser. Coach, thanks for being here. Uh, this was a week that uh, you only got to play a weekend series. The game against UL Lafayette was washed out. Hopefully that bad weather is gone. We're not going to have to deal with that much uh, more this season. Uh, but that game will be made up April the 30th. But this was a, a, a kind of had a long week to get ready for Sacred Heart. It was, and it was a very long week, especially after last weekend with the two tough ball games Saturday and Sunday against Monroe. And the, the kids did a good job, you know, obviously coming out with the right energy on Friday and then uh, the whole weekend. Sacred Heart, you talked about it last week right here on our show that they were going to run out three very good starting pitchers. Uh, I thought they did that. Uh, you, you had a, a chance to take two out of three from Sacred Heart. A, bi a big series win for your club. This is a team that's that's an, uh, that's an NCAA tournament type team. Yeah, you know, they've been in the NCAA tournament uh, two out of the last three years, and, and they've got a great uh, veteran staff, uh, very similar to us, very, very similar. They play defense and they pitch it. Uh, yeah, and it was a good weekend to uh, get a series win before we go to conference. No doubt about it, as Friday night, it was a pitcher's duel. If there was a better one across the country, I'd like to see it as these two guys were fantastic. Let's go out and check out the Friday night highlights. All right, Friday night, Sacred Heart is in town. If you're wondering, a team from Connecticut comes down here to Louisiana and a very good ball club, a team out of the uh, out of the conference up north, and they come down here, always make the, make the trip down to Louisiana. Yeah, they come and do the tour every year, come play us, Tulane and LSU, and uh, we'll catch them on the back end of the trip here. They took two out three from Tulane last week and LSU midweek, and uh, I actually had a, had a nice little duel on Friday night, pitchers duel with Andre Chator and their guy as well. Yeah, both of these guys uh, kind of locked up in, in the summer in the Cape Cod League, and yeah, you can see why from watching both of these guys' stuff as these highlights go on. Yeah, both guys had absolutely uh, unbelievable movement on all the pitches and obviously located down the zone. They see Andre there getting the strikeout in the first inning, uh, and he did it with all pitches. He did it with the slide, the change up, fastball. They did a good job. The guy does a good job as well. We get the early leadoff walk. They did a good job getting on the first base. Uh, but as we, you know, we spoke to the guys and. You know, the biggest thing we didn't do is execute. You know, we missed a hit and run here. Also, we still second, uh, but we'd rather that guy be a third base here if we execute the hit and run the right way. And this is the reason why, because then instead of this ground up ball being a 5-3 put out, we get a 5-3 RBI out of it. And that was a big difference in, in executing and scoring runs on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Very nice play by the first baseman, too, digging that ball out of there. And Andrew Godbull comes up, and I was going to ground out to second base to end the threat. I had an opportunity there early on, but just couldn't punch through. Yeah, and when a guy like that, you need to jump on him early. Uh, we've had a couple of horses we face, and uh, you know, we've squandered some opportunities early in the game. But when you get a guy that good, you can't squat opportunities because they get settled in pretty quick. Chator was outstanding, 13 punch outs on the night, a career high for Andro. Uh, he had it working all of his pitches uh, in this one. Yeah, he really did. And even, you know, and this is the difference we're talking about. Here they are right first, they execute their hit and run, and now they got first and third on their play. But Andro does a fantastic job of getting the strike out there. And then the strike out there again, the end of threat. And that's where Andro's so good. He just kept settling back down and controlled the moment. Gets the strike out here. And Andro settles back down. Gets another punch out again. Now, when you get in a game like this and every run is so important, uh, those little plays just start to add up in the game. 100%. 100%. You know, we got to just find a way to keep getting stuff done. And, and with Jacob Seward leading off. This normal single there. And now you see it starting to execute some things, start putting some pressure on defense. We execute the hit and run there, so now we got first and second. We bring Fisher back up again. Their guy did a good job. You know, that was our horse against their horse. Our guy at the moment didn't get the hit, and their guy did. Another punch out from Chutor. You could really see his ball running away from those left handed hitters. Just sinking down, I tell you, man. It was Something special to watch that night. Those two guys were absolutely phenomenal all night. We actually catch a break here where we get the uh, E2 there on the pop up to the catcher. But the guy sells right back in again, and you can see the breaking ball, how much depth and how much sweep it had to it. <laughs> and then right back to Hydro again. I mean, it's almost like you're watching a replay of both guys. It does. It seems like replay over and over, and a lot of strikeouts in this one. But you know, on Friday night, when you have two teams that are 
you know, NCAA tournament caliber teams and you have Friday night guys, this is what happens. That's it. That's exactly it. And Fisher comes up with a big knock there. And Hall comes back behind him. Now we're trying to get some things going here in the six. You got runners now at second and third. This was a big opportunity for your club offensively. And they decide to, to go with the intentional walk there. Yeah, intentional walk, Jesse. We uh, we pinch it for Kevin Carr there with Gabe Woods, and uh, we end up popping out the first. The next guy comes up, Brooks Morris, and I thought that was a uh, HBP there that should have been obviously in our favor. He said the guy leaned into it, and I disagree. Obviously, Very their guy call. does a good job coming back and striking him out. Very tough call right there. Lions fall on this one two to nothing. You got to tip their hat uh, to their pitcher on Friday night. Yeah, no question about it. Their guy was good, and we just got to find a way to get back on the horse on Saturday. Sometimes you got to look across there and just tip your hat at the, at the opposing pitcher and just really couldn't get anything going offensively on Friday night against their starter. Yeah, you know, we missed execute some different plays uh, offensively, and, uh, and you know, like I said, you got to tip your hat to their kid. He was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, also, Andre Tour for us was absolutely phenomenal. Like you said, I don't think you'd have found a better pitcher duel in the country. This was the first time all season on the weekend that you lost on Friday night. What was the message after the locker room as you get ready to take Saturday and Sunday as you go to those two games? Yeah, you know, it was real simple. Uh, we, we kept trying to analyze everything and try to put our finger uh, you know, on the problem. And, and so, you know, we keep talking and talking. And finally on Saturday, it was real simple. Hey, it's just time to go do it. Uh, it's time to be tough for another team and find a way to, to muster. Whatever you got to mustard, find a way to get a win at the end of the day. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to check out the highlights from Game 2 and Game 3 against Sacred Heart. Right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Reiser, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers, champagne beverage, as well as Buddy's Bar and Grill right here in Hammond. Stay with us. <laughs> 